Check it out. Look at all them bees. Somewhere in there, there's a queen, and we gotta find her. You ain't never seen something as beautiful as this right here. Check it out. You hear that? You see them moving? They are not happy. They've been here since Sunday. It's now Tuesday afternoon. There's something going on, but these girls, they're about to break cluster. Man, is this beautiful. I'm glad you think so. This will be the first opportunity that I have to use my everything bee vac. Does the vacuum kill the bees? It's a vacuum system, but it doesn't kill them. It actually, it'll catch them up in there. We get home, we take the top off, we just pour them right into a beehive. Okay. Oh man, there's gotta be a good four pound of bees here. So generally this time of the year, yeah. the swarms are pretty big size. I can tell they've been here for a couple of days because there's a ton of wax build up underneath that mailbox. When they show up to where they're going, they're ready to make that new comb. They can't survive without comb. They have to use it to put their food up, storing pollen, nectars, and making babies. He asked why they weren't attacking me, and that's a great question. People have a lot of fear over honeybees because in the South, we're so used to yellow jackets. Yellow jackets are just mean. One of my head, ah, there's one of my head. Oh, that did not tickle. These were definitely not bees. When honeybees are in this mode, we call swarm mode. They're not really protecting as much of a colony or a home. Plus their bellies are full of nectar from where they came from. They're less defensive. After these bees have been here for a couple days like this, they can be. Probably the one single thing in beekeeping, this is the best part of it. All right, so there's a little cubby hole up in there. We may have to light the smoker up just a little bit to try to run them out because we don't want to take a chance on not finding our queen. Try to get them to start going down there. These are fanning, they're pheromoning out. You hear them? I'm gonna let them kind of figure that out and come land over here. See? Pretty cool. Oh, if you could feel the heat off all them bees. All right, gang. We're going to get these things home, try to get them into a box, um, big box. I already know exactly what hive we're going to put them in. Wait till you see it. So here it is, gang. This is the hive that we chose to put them in. This setup is absolutely great. Now, the traditional hives are the boxes stacked up on top of each other. Some of the great points about this beehive is all the frames are just right here at standing height, and we can work them. I had some saved up comb from a, a hive last year when we reduced a colony down. We protect it through winter so that it can be utilized. That makes them happy and makes them want to get right into this colony and start going to work and actually help lock them into it. Now this is not normal spacing of a beehive. Normally these would all be up next to each other. But what I've done is I've spaced these out a little bit to give the bees a place to fall into. They'll spread out and they'll start to climb up the comb and the walls. Once we get some of them in here, they're gonna start fanning a pheromone that tells them to gather here. So here's our first batch of bees. It would be so cool if we already find our queen hanging up in this patch, wouldn't it? Do I expect her to be up here? No. We're gonna drop them in there, let them start spreading out, and then let's see if we can't catch our queen. That was a lot of bees. All right, where's our queen at? Where's our queen at? Come on, girls. See that queen yet? I see we've got some flying around here. They're all getting it figured out. But the girls are already starting to fan. We're gonna spread this out a little bit and give them places to go. Look at all them bees. We're just gonna let them figure it out for a few minutes. I wanna see if we can find our queen yet. That was a heavy frame. Now look, that's a drone. Some of those big ones that you'll see that make you think it was a queen, but actually that little flat butt, that's a drone. Oh, 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 there she is right there. Right there. Come here, mama.
Nice, we've already caught our queen. And there we go, guys. There's our queen. Awesome sauce. Man, that worked out just right. Now, I will take her and set her right in here sideways. And her daughters will go to her and take care of things, and now we are good. Let's do a time lapse and watch them as they all kind of gather back up here and migrate into the box. If you want to follow the progress of this colony, go over to my sister channel, Honey Money TV, here on YouTube. Look at all them bees. Look at all them bees! 